Ooh, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times with Scar here, and welcome back to Scarland, a land where we take survival building to the extreme. Remember, here at the Scott Ranch house building project, and look at our beautiful house, our mountains in the background, and of course, those clouds going right through them, which doesn't make a lot of sense. But let's get started today because we're going to be working on our barn and we will be wrapping it up. We'll finally finish our super awesome barn and this hill just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And there it is, my friends, with one awkward pine tree out in the distance there. But as you can see, look at this beautiful barn built up and ready to go. Let's head inside and take a look at what we worked on in our last episode by building our horse stalls and getting them all set and ready to go. We've got our beautiful ground. We have our fun little way of getting in and out, of course, of the horse stalls. Now, the lighting is still not settled yet, just temporary lighting at this point. But what we'll be working on is the upper level, my friends. We're gonna be getting all sorts of beautiful designs up there. So let's get started. All right, and welcome to the second level here. And as you can see, we have so much amazing space for incredible things. So what I'm thinking about on the upper level is building a bunk room over in this room for bunk beds and things of that nature for, of course, the ranch hands. And then turning the corner over here, I'm not 100% sure, but I do know we're going to have, I think it's called the tack room down at that lower level. I think that'll be really cool. All right, wonderful. So let's start over here. And the first thing we're going to do is start to take out some of this spot right here, okay? So on either side right here, I'm just gonna take those guys out. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave this one as it is, and we're gonna place a block on either end like a so, looking very wonderful. And then over here, what we're going to do is we're gonna bring this guy all the way up into the air, and we're gonna connect it to those pillars right there. And yeah, so we're just gonna kind of follow these patterns and lots to clean up. As you can see, the upper level here is very unsightly, a lot of jagged blocks all around, but we're gonna clean it all up and get this looking very, very beautiful. And yeah, so first thing we need to do after this is find the blocks that we can remove. So if we can remove this and that here and there, um, it will make things a lot easier in deciding how best to go about adding our designs that we want to do for this room. And I'm just excited because this has been a long project, a lot longer than I thought because we really just took it to the next level with some of these designs. Like this has to be one of the fanciest barns ever we've created. So. Um, and it's been fun. It's been fun. We really kind of pushed the level of design here, which is always exciting to do. There we go. So just bring these blocks along this. And well, my favorite thing recently has been taking half slabs and stairs and, of course, these uh, fence poses and just really trying to create a really immersive design. It's been one of my favorite things to do lately. We've been doing a little bit here and a little bit on Hermitcraft. And let's bring these guys all the way together. And that should be about three blocks across there like that. Looking good, my friends. And then what we can do now is connect these along here like so. We'll connect those up like that, connect in here. Now you could, you know, add some half slabs and some stairs similar to what we've done down here. Um, but I don't think I'm gonna do that at the moment. Now, as you can see, our shovel is on its last legs. So that is a thing that we're gonna need to be a little bit mindful of. And you might be noticing, Scar, you have 67 levels. How did you get all those? Well, my friends, I got those from a fisher. So I set up a little fisher guy just to get some uh, extra books because there's truly no way of me getting mending books um, on this server that I know of, or not server, but on this world. Because of course, Scarline's messed up and after Minecon and after TwitchCon, I'm gonna figure out how to fix Scarline so we can have villages, so we can go to the end and all of these things that we cannot do at this point in the world. So. That's what we're going to do. That is definitely a project that we're going to uh, tackle once we are back from those um, big uh, conventions is we're going to we're going to make Scarland awesome again because we're going to, you know, make it so we can have the things that we want in this world. And that is, you know, just a village. I mean, I don't even have a well in this world. Can you even imagine that? Not even a well. All right, my friends. So I'm going to refine this up a little bit, clean up the top and continue this pattern that we created right here on all of these patterns. So one there, one there, and of course one there. And I'll be right back. My friends, we have a bit of a development here. As I was building, the storms approached and there was lightning and thunder to be heard throughout the entire region and a skeleton horse appeared out in the horizon. And I saw him, there he is! Oh my gosh, we've got a skeleton horse in Scarland, that's awesome! And I was just saying we don't have anything cool in Sc Oh, that's not good! Oh, that's really not good! Oh, oh, what in the world? Is that the three horsemen or the four horsemen? Oh my gosh, it scared me. <laughs> oh no, I was gonna, I was going to, Try to tame him and we're gonna be best friends forever. Oh, Jesus, he's back. Oh, no, 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 no
no, no. You evil. You're evil. You're evil. Can I kill him without killing the horse? Oh, jeez. You terrible skeleton. You. I wanted him and we were going to be best friends. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay. Um... That didn't go to, according to plan, my friends. How about we just avoid all of that and get back to building? Look at those scoundrels out there, my friends, just haunting my house. But let's get back to work and let's see here. As you guys can see, we're at the very top here, up at our windows. And once again, look at all these jagged blocks that we need to start to smooth over. And uh, why don't we actually go back down real quick before we start working here. And let's stop right about there. And as you can see, I've gotten all the archways complete. And then let's turn the corner over here. Now I started subdividing this area over here. So as you can see, I added some walls right here and eventually we'll add a wall going across here. And then we'll add the bunk beds and the tables and things of that nature in this area. Now on this side over here, like I said before, I don't have any ideas. There's this big old room right here, but I don't have any ideas yet. So definitely let me know what you guys think would look cool in that room. And yeah, let's start going up. Oh, I forgot. Just yonder over there is going to be the way up. So that's going to be the area we're actually going to be able to get up here because that's kind of important all right so next thing we're going to do here is like i said before start to try to clean this place up a little bit it is one of my favorite things to do is after you finish your exterior and you're in the interior and you just have this entire area and it looks like a gigantic mess but it's actually really fun to try to clean off all the corners and smooth it all down like we're doing now it's actually really fun i really enjoy this part um, especially when it comes to interior decorating say a modern house or something along those lines it's like a giant puzzle and you're just trying to put all the little pieces together and try to find um, some kind of rhythm to it all and try to find some uh, meaning to all the minecraft blocks Ooh, we got very deep there my friends all right there we go um hmm, i'm just trying to think of where we want to go from this point um i've almost considered changing things just a little bit um hmm no, I'm just trying to figure this out. Um, how about we bring these guys all the way across here? And like I was saying before about making Scarland great. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do this. I think it'll actually make this actually look quite. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. Hmm. Is that an oh, my or is that just ha? Huh? I don't know. I'm not sure if I like that or not. I'll put that oh, my back and uh, we might use that a little bit later. OK, so I'm going to go down here like this. And then I think I'm going to cut these pieces in. Oh, there we go. That's what I want. That looks really nice. OK, so we got that side done. I'll just do the other side in just a minute. Um, so let's sneak back down here just a little bit and start working here. So like I was saying, I get very distracted, as you know. Um, so I've been trying to figure out like what to do with Scarland. I know you guys have left me suggestions and I always write them down. Literally, I have a pile of sticky notes, maybe and I'm not exaggerating, probably about six inches thick. Like not just you just put your, your hand on it and it squishes down to like half an inch. No, you put this on there. It's like a foot thick. And I, I just went from six inches to a foot now. It's it's very it's, it's ridiculous. I have so many posted notes of like ideas and different things like that. And I know along the lines of somewhere in those posted notes, there is some uh, information on how to um, fix Scarland's world generations. Um, but I forgot because that's what I do. I seem to forget those things. But once we get back from Minecon, once we get back from TwitchCon, uh, we're definitely going to see about fixing this stuff all up. Um, one thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pull these up just a little bit higher. The reason being is I want to see if this will look any better. Um, like sometimes it might look like a scar mistake. So I might do one side and the other side I might change it up and try a couple other designs. Now where the scar mistake comes into play is when I don't fix the side. And I'm like, okay, I like this one, but then I don't fix that side. That's when the scar mistakes kick in. There we go. Okay, that's yeah, that's looking good. Then we'll just fill in these pieces. And yeah, so I think what we're going to do is continue this pattern as we've done before. So make this design and we'll carry that on to over there and over there. And then we'll work in the uh, the bunk room in just a moment. So I'll see you down there. And welcome back. And that lone tree out there just makes me very upset. I just absolutely despise that shape of a tree. It's why I love making landscapes and trying to create beautiful terraforming designs is because I just absolutely despise that tree. I despise that design. Um, I remember when I, I, you know, I was actually harvesting leaves is why it's there, of course. And um, yeah, and I, I was so ugly, I just had to stop. Anyway, my friends, as you can see, we're going to start working on our way up. Now, I was trying a couple little designs here and there. Um, and none of them were working. So I was trying some staircases and things of that nature, and there was nothing that was going to kind of fit within the space. So I decided to go with some old fashioned Minecraft ladders. 
Let's make some Minecraft ladders. Man, I haven't actually used a Minecraft ladder in an actual build in a very, very long time. Yeah, I can't actually no, I can't even remember the last time I've actually used a Minecraft ladder in a design, which it's kind of fun to use it again. Um, but it got me thinking as I do while I'm going up and down the ladders. And it, my thoughts were, let me actually decide what I'm going to use. I think I'm actually going to use dark oak. Um, when I was going up the ladder, I was thinking, why don't we do a tour of one of my old Minecraft worlds? Would that be something you guys would like to see? Maybe go back to maybe the grotto or something along those lines. Um, and these worlds, my friends, are from way back in 2010. That's right. These are very, very old worlds. And uh, I think it just might be something kind of fun we could do. Um, we might do that while I'm gone at Minecon as one of the videos that'll go up while I'm gone. It could be. I want to get you guys' thoughts on that. It might be just fun to see Minecraft from a very long time ago. Maybe see how we've improved as builders and things of that nature. And there we go. Very, very simple. Very easy access, of course, to our upper level. Um, of course, we can jazz up this room quite a bit. Um, but yeah. I think this will be really cool. I think this will be really nice getting this all set up and ready to roll. Um, all right, so our next phase here is to move over here and start working in this room, which will be our bunk room. So we're gonna build bunk beds on either side and spruce this place up. So let me get some supplies and I'll be right back. Why can I never remember the recipe for these stupid hooks? <laughs> there it is, there's the recipe. I'm gonna go out on a limb, my friends, and I'm gonna say that this is the greatest stable limb bone ever created in survival Minecraft. Probably not, but I'm super proud of it. So let's head up to our upper level here and we're gonna work on our bunk room, of course. So let's round the corner. Oh, apparently not rounding enough. There we go. And as you can see, I started bringing in the walls. So as you can see, there's a pillar, pillar, and then a layer of milk chocolate and then another pillar right there. Now my thoughts are in these little spots here and there, we'll add ourselves a bunk bed. So let's do it. So I got my wool and no easy feet, by the way. I'm not gonna go into trying to get this wool. Um, so I'm gonna put these guys along there like that. So that's our first start of our bunk beds. And then I'm gonna try something a little different for pillows today and we're gonna go with trap doors. That's right, a little crazy, I know. I know it's a little crazy, but I think it might be something a little different for a pillow and I kind of like it actually. So for our beds, we can do anything we want, my friends, or at least anything we have in our inventory. So we could do a little green wool, we could do a little gray, and I'm gonna start with the green. So I'm gonna start bringing that right there. And I think the guy on the upper level here has decided to go with a little bit of brown. Now, do we have brown on us? I think we're actually gonna have to convert some brown here. There we go, so we'll just convert a little bit of brown there. We're really doing some uh, inventory gymnastics here right now, trying to manage all of this in our inventory. Um, I'm just gonna put you on the floor, I mean, don't don't worry, I still like you. It's just I'm gonna put you on the floor for a minute. Um, oh my gosh, the inventory gymnastics here is for real. Um, so I'm gonna put that up there. Beautiful, awesome. Can I have you back, please? Please, thank you, thank you, awesome. All right, there we go, my friends. All right, so let's see how to spruce this up just ever so slightly more because it's kind of boring. <laughs> there we go. All right, so I'm gonna put those guys like that. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna connect these blocks right here. So I want this to be very tight. Now this is not an elegant place. This is a you know, as a good, um, good, uh, you know, horse stable here, we, we try to take it to a little bit to the next level, but it's also just not a very fancy place. You know, it's just a nice place for some, uh, some work people to come and hang out and uh, they can sleep, make some money, all that good stuff. Um, at least that's kind of the, the philosophy, I suppose, with this area. There we go. So there we go. So a nice place for them to uh, rest their head at night. There we go. Um, but not super, super duper duper fancy. There we go. Put that right about there. And then I'm still kind of bringing out some extra little details for the roof up here. I haven't kind of settled on an exact design. See, this is a little bit funny and I don't like this connected texture, um, but I think it's something easily that we can work through as we move uh, along with the design. Awesome. All right, and then I think I'm gonna connect these up here just for good measure. Look at that, my friends. Looking very beautiful now. We were just talking about how this wasn't a fancy area, but look at that. Like, that's quite, quite nice and quite cozy by that. All right, awesome. Okay, good, wonderful. So, let's move on. And we're gonna work in this little spot right here. How about a little something like that? We just made ourselves a little table. That's right, we just made ourselves a table. And what we could do is we can put our little uh, chair right there and another little chair on that side, looking good. A nice little place to eat in the morning. There we go. I mean, you know what? I'm gonna move out here. This is better than my house. That's right. We're gonna move from our house over there into here. This is nice. Got a little spot over here to eat. Looking very wonderful. Um, now, I think I made some pressure plates or I might not have. I guess I didn't. There we go. I guess I brought the iron to make them. 
There we go, got some plates on the table there, and I brought this here for a quick cup. Look at that, oh, I love it. All right, now this is kind of less than awesome right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start running another pillar going across here like that. And then as you can see, we can kind of fix up this spot up here just ever so slightly. We can bring that across there and look at this place. It's really actually coming along. Now, one thing I've been thinking about, and you might have noticed them in my inventory, I want to see if I can make some curtains. So a little privacy, of course, for the people sleeping in the beds. It's kind of cramped in here. Probably there's at least four people living in this area. Um, so my thoughts are, and I don't know about the upper level, I'm going to see about adding some curtains here, but it doesn't look like they're going to connect to the right area that I want them to. Um, hmm. We've done this before in our Skyrim village. I'm not gonna jump over there and take a look at how I did that. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We're gonna hold off on that for a second. Let me create the bunk beds on this side and then we work on those curtains. And welcome back, my friends. And as you can see, we've got this room built up and ready to go. It's very, very tight. But as you can see, we've got some boxes on the sides here. Our beds are looking beautiful. Now, what I've decided to do is on the put the curtains on the sides here. And it just looks like they're in the open position, of course, so nobody's using the bed, so they're pushed to the side. And I think that makes sense for that area. And now I have some armor stands. Now, I don't have any dyed wool at the moment or dyed leather um, suits, but these are just for to put your cowboy hat, put your boots on, all of those wonderful things. I do have some uh, permanent lighting in this room, which I think is the only room in this area that ha actually has permanent lighting. As you can see, just cleaning up the walls on this side over here and, of course, adding some of our wheat in these corners. So these are just areas for all of our hay. I call it wheat and hay. It's it is it is not wheat. Oh, I was going to do it again. It is hay. We're putting our hay right here. I keep calling it wheat. Anyway, um, I put that right there looking very good. So we're going to stick that right there and just kind of storing it. It's just here to kind of be stored. Um, so I'm just going to stick some of these pieces here and there. Um, but I think that'll look good. Just randomly placed there and there. Awesome. OK, now we have this room right here. It's another tiny, tiny room, and I'm not 100% sure what to do. Some ideas I had was potentially maybe a, a boss's office in here, things of that nature, but the room in here is just very awkward and there's not a lot of it. So I would love it if you guys let me know what you want to see in this room. If there's any particular designs or anything along those lines, let me know. Give me some ideas. Have some input into design, and there we go, my friends. That is the upper level for now. And let's head back down to the lower level and there's that one extra room. Also, I cleaned up this room just ever so slightly, just kind of freshened it up a bit. This one over here, this little neglected room over on the side over here. And I think this will be a perfect room for what is called a tack room, I think. And that is a room where they put the saddles and all those different things in here. So yeah, yeah I think that'll be cool. Actually, no, this looks really weird up here. <laughs> this looks very weird. Um, hmm. How do we fix this? How do we fix this, my friends? What if we bring these guys up here like this? I think this actually will make way more sense by putting those like that. There we go. Cut back through here. Yeah, you kind of block the little window, but you'll never even notice it. So that'll look really great. Awesome. OK, so how about what we do here is we get out some of these guys and some of these. And we just start figuring this out. So if we're going to put saddles here, uh, my thoughts are if we do kind of every other one like that, and we put a saddle in between each one of these sections, like it's so very, very beautiful. And then what we could do is bring these guys up here like that. There we go. Cut these one here. Boom and a bam. Just very simple. And yeah, I think that looks like a clean design. Nothing too fancy. Just get those guys in there like that. Um, there's this little extra gap right there. Potentially, if there was room behind us, we could do something. But unfortunately, there's not. So. That is not even an option, my friends, but that's okay. We'll just move on. There we go. Looking good. <laughs> Had those guys down there like that. So we can put some saddles up there. Um, now on this back wall right here, see how this gets a little bit awkward right here once again? So my thoughts are what we could do is maybe even add some of these guys up here like that. Um, I really like this design. I really like that. Um, maybe even put these guys down there like that just to clean out the floor a little bit. Um, and then put these around there like that. I don't know. Some of these little areas could definitely use some touching up. I'm not 100% sold on any of those. Um, we could do something like similar here if we go like that and that. And then we take these and then go like that, that. Why don't we cover up this for now? We, we can readdress that a little bit and we can grab out some of our half slabs. There we go. All totally improv designs. Nothing like a little improv design. Am I right, my friends? We can put this right. Oh, yeah, I don't think that would look good. Why don't we back off that? 
put that back there like that. Now we do have these two little pieces here. So what if I did this? What if I just take these guys and just bring them all the way across, covering up that so that fixes that issue, cut these pieces out, and then we put our boxes in between here. So we just put these guys, oh, hello, do we have any more? Ah, we'll put this one right there. I'm actually gonna replace these because these are a little cheaper. There we go, awesome. All right, um, I'm actually really happy with that. There are some little inconsistencies right, right here. We can just cover that up like that. But there we go, my friends. We can come in here. We have our saddles ready to go. We have boxes for more mass storage and then maybe even some trap doors maybe on top of these. We'll see how that looks. My headset just fell off. I just had to grab it. <laughs> if you get about little live streams, you guys know that happens all of the time. But anyway, I really like that. I think that actually came out really nice. We'll put in our saddles and get all that arranged. And there we go, my friends. Let me do a quick cleanup and then we'll do an official tour. And welcome back, my friends. We have now completed our super awesome survival barn and stable here in Scarland. Absolutely amazing designs we've come up with today and all of the other episodes all looking very, very beautiful. Let's start looking at what we've completed today. And the first thing here is of course our, what I think it's called attack room. Now I have adjusted some of the designs. I've actually added leads along here and I removed the trap doors that were on top. Even though I really like that design, I think this makes more sense and is a little more practical. And then of course on this side, I did remove the stairs and actually added chests. So these are filled with saddles and these are filled full of leads looking ever so beautiful. And yeah, I think that looks really nice. I think that all kind of came out really well. Now, like I said, the lighting is still not 100%. I haven't found the perfect lighting solution throughout the entire area, but I'll work on that off camera. And of course we have our brand new staircase room leading to our upper level. Look at our upper level, my friends. We didn't have anything at the start of this episode and now we have a beautiful designs here. And of course there is our staircase. And then leading down the hallway here, we have our first bunk room. So we got that looking very beautiful. We got our designs of our bunk beds and our privacy screens. Got some chests down there. And of course a place for the cowboys to come and put down their hat and their boots. And of course they're not there because they're out there working on the fields. And then moving down here a little bit, we have some more hay storage because of course, we've got our hay crane going upwards like so. And then we can work our way down here. And this of course, is where I need you guys to help me come up with a cool and awesome design for this room. I'm still a little unsure. I mean, we could double it up, add some more bunk beds, things of that nature would definitely make sense. Um, but I was wondering if there was anything else we could do. And yeah, let me know, my friends. Definitely, definitely let me know. Potentially, maybe even making it a little fancier. Maybe there are slightly higher ranked ranch hands in there. Maybe we could only do two bunk beds and a little bit more like living room furniture. Who knows, my friends, but we can always work on that in our next episode and I cannot thank you again for hanging out with me as we built our beautiful beautiful barn here looking absolutely wonderful we'll move on to decorating and landscaping and I came with some really really cool ideas while we we're working today for the front and the back and everywhere in between my friends so until next time this has been good times with Sky and I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos and if you believe the video is already rating that would be much appreciated and where is that skeleton horse and we'll see you later